Hello, my name is Jessica with Telware Corporation. Today, we're going to talk about the 3CX mobile application. I'm using an iPhone today, but you can download the app on your Android device as well, although some of the options will look slightly different. Today, we'll talk about the five icons on the bottom of your screen. Then, I'll show you what it looks like when you receive a call, and I'll show you the options when you're on an active call. So let's get started. On the bottom left, if you click on the Presence icon, you're brought to the Presence screen. Here, you'll see all of the users on the phone system. You can scroll up and down to find the user that you're looking for, and then click on their name to call them. It's that simple. To the left of someone's name, you'll notice a square color. Those colors are their statuses. Green means that user is currently available. Yellow means they're currently on a call. Red means they're in Do Not Disturb. Next to each user's name, you'll see a small arrow. If you click on that arrow, it gives you additional options. You'll see here that you can click to call an extension. You can click to call their mobile phone if it's been programmed in. You can click to leave them a voicemail click to conference, click to intercom, instant message chat, or send an email if their email has been programmed in. The next icon we'll talk about is the contacts list. Here, you'll see all of the company contacts, your coworkers, and your private contacts. If you've given 3CX access to your iPhone contacts as well, you would also see them there. Again, you can click on a name to call that person, or click on the arrow for additional options. The next icon is your phone icon. This is also the home page that loads when you first open the app. At the top of your home page, in the navigation bar, you'll see if you have a voicemail. You can also log in and out of call queues. If you click on your avatar towards the middle of the display, you would be able to change your status. Your status is visible to other users on their presence page. You'll notice that there are five profile statuses. Do Not Disturb by default sends all calls directly to voicemail. The bottom two statuses are customizable. So you'll see in my options here, I have one that I've changed to in a meeting. Using the dial pad, I can call any number internally or externally, and it would show my office caller ID. I'll show you what an active call looks like in a little bit. The next icon is our recents. This is your call history. You'll notice at the top, you can switch between all calls, outbound calls, inbound calls, and missed calls. Just like the other pages, if you click on a name, it will allow you to call that person back. The last icon is the More menu. When you press More, you're presented with all the additional features on the mobile application, such as scheduling a conference, using instant message chat, voicemail, and recordings. When you press Schedule Conference, it would allow you to schedule a conference for a specific time and date. I'll also show you how to make an ad hoc conference in a little bit when we're on an active call. When you open the chat option, you'll see all your recently placed instant message chats. From here, you can hit the plus sign to create a new chat, or you can open a chat that you've already had. It's important to note that if you're chatting, the recipient also needs to use either the 3CX mobile application, the 3CX web client, or the 3CX soft phone client. You can press the back arrow to go back to the more page. Next, if you'll click on voicemail, you'll be presented with all of your voicemails on the system. The bolded voicemails are your unread messages. You can simply click on the voicemail to play it, or to call that person back. Any voicemail that you delete from the mobile application will also delete on your phone if you have one on your physical desk. Next, I'll show you what it looks like when you're presented with a call. When you are receiving an incoming call, you'll notice the caller ID information in the display. 
At the bottom, you'll also have an answer and a decline. Decline will stop the ringing on your mobile application. If you press the Send to Voicemail option, it will send the caller directly into your voicemail. If you press Answer, it will pick up the call. Now we'll talk about the active call options. When you're on an active call, you'll notice that you have many of the same options as a physical desk phone. You have a hold button, which will place your caller on hold. Your caller will hear hold music, and you simply press resume to pick the caller back up. You're also presented with a speakerphone option that will put your phone over the speaker on your iPhone. The transfer option would allow you to complete a blind transfer, sending your caller to another person, whether it's an internal extension or an external number. An attended transfer is when you announce the caller prior to completing the transfer. The keypad option will simply allow you to press numbers like you would on a physical phone. The conference button will turn your active call into a conference, allowing you to add additional callers as well. The mute button will mute your side of the conversation. When you press it, it illuminates blue, letting you know that your side of the conversation is muted. You can still hear the other caller, but they can't hear you. When you press the record button, it illuminates blue, letting you know that your conversation is being recorded. Access to recordings does vary based on the administrator settings, so you may or may not be able to access that recording. And end call does exactly that. It ends the call. Those are the basics of the 3CX iPhone application. Thanks for watching. If you need additional information or you're interested in getting 3CX, give us a call at 1 800 637 3148. Thank you.